And before we begin today's video, a little update from the Iron Man account. I haven't shown you guys this account in a little bit. I recently completed the easy, medium, and hard Corinne Diaries, so that's what you're seeing here. And this is actually going to benefit me during this video, and I'll explain why shortly. Here we are tackling organized crime. This is for the medium diaries. And one thing that I'm also going to be unlocking by doing up to the hard is I'll finally be able to get that Ash Sanctifier. A day before I did all this, I did unlock the Soul Bearer, so that's going to be really beneficial doing long-term Slayer, especially since I still have to grind out 99. Well, here is the easy and the medium diary rewards. A lot of benefits from all of this, especially the blessing that I now have. I can actually buy these in bulk, and it's much better than risking a God blessing. So I'll be taking that everywhere I go. And with one last task completed, we are now able to claim our hard rewards. That's going to upgrade our blessing a little bit, and it's also going to get us the Ash Sanctifier. So I'd say that's mission complete as it goes for the diaries for now. Going to go ahead and add 2,000 death runes to the Ash Sanctifier, so when I do my next Necreal task, I can already start to see the benefits of it. And I'm going to use all these XP lamps on smithing, because I have been struggling with that recently, just not a big fan of it on the Iron Man. But with that being said, we've now unlocked the Soul Bearer and the Ash Sanctifier to help us with future Slayer grinds and future Slayer videos, long term and short term. After completing those diaries, I did a little bit of Guardians of the Rift. We're still at 75 rune crafting. Probably going to stay there for quite a while. And uh, one day when I grind out 99, I might do a long term Guardians of the Rift video. But on to today's video. I needed something that was really AFK and beneficial for my Iron Man account while I was bossing on my main. So I decided I've fished so many Infernal Eels and made multiple videos on them. One thing I haven't camped for quite a while now is sacred eels. So after fishing 10,000 Zolra scales, I decided to start from scratch and make a video about it. But before we begin all that, this video is brought to you by Creator Crafted. Recently, Creator Crafted it came out with brand new OSRS LED signs featuring capes, spirit shields, and the corrupted twisted bow. Pre-order slots are limited, but you can secure your spot now by using the link in the description below. And keep in mind, with their winter sale almost being over, all all products are still discounted on their site. These are the first officially licensed LED signs and they are suitable for wall mounting or freestanding since products come with a desktop stand. And if you want to save an additional 10% off your purchase, use discount code Mr. No Sleep at checkout. And you know what would look great alongside your new LED sign? How about a mouse pad? Creator Crafted just opened sales on three new mouse pad designs. These mouse pads ergonomic design and large size guarantee not only smooth mouse movement but also ample space to accommodate both your keyboard and your mouse gently. So what are you waiting for? Take advantage of the winter sale now and grab yourself a new sign or mouse pad today using the link in the description below and remember to use discount code Mr. No Sleep for an additional 10% off and a huge thank you to Creator Crafted for sponsoring today's video. And after fishing those first 10,000 Zora scales, I did get a couple of clue scrolls which you can't expect while fishing a sacred eel so look forward to that. We're going to be saving all the caskets from this video for the end. But with those being opened, let's go ahead and start this from scratch. 30 hours of Sacred Heels. Let's see how many Zora scales we can get. Uh, currently have about 190,000 in the bank, so it's going to be nice to finally hit over 200,000. And at the same time, ever since we did the 30 hours of Temporos video and the 10 hours of aerial fishing, my fishing XP on this account is growing, and I'm really looking forward to getting 20 mil in this video. Very special milestone there. Trying to get 20 mil all skills before I get uh, 2277 total. Total, so that'll be nice. I'm trying to save Slayer or Smithing for last. And by the time I get that last 99, uh, you know, it's just nice to have skills like fishing be at 20 mil. And I may plan on some future mining related videos because I am about 1.2 mil away from 20 mil mining. But I've already done so many, so that might be a problem. But uh, since my last Amethyst video, it actually doubled in price. So I have been considering maybe camping there for about 100 hours since the XP is so bad, but it's so beneficial at the same time. So what we're doing today, just fishing content, but we're fishing for Zora scales and we're fishing for clue bottles so that hopefully we can unlock some nice uniques from that. And it just adds a little bit of interest to not only, uh, you know, fishing, you can get clue scrolls while doing mining, uh, doing wood cutting, pretty soon probably agility. And on this account, I do have most clue steps unlocked. I think I have all of the tiers uh, other than elite. There's probably about three steps that I can't do still. But that's mainly because I don't have a quest cape yet. You know, I kind of avoid quest and diaries still to this day, but I'm 
getting better at that. Done a lot of diaries recently, so I'll try to get on the quest grind soon. Only took about 20 minutes to receive our first clue bottle, and it was a medium tier. But here we are one hour into today's grind, and it looks like those Zora skills are adding up decently. Looks like the overall amount comes to 1677 Let's see the price check of this uh, one hour in. This is how much you can make at 99 fishing, 250 k an hour. It's not too bad. 28.6k cooking, 21.3k fishing. Pretty low rates, but at least you get cooking alongside fishing, and you don't see that too often with fishing. And I only ended up using about 225 fishing bait in the first hour. I did stock up to about 100,000 just uh, honestly to make it look cool in the bank alongside all the other stackable items that I have, but also an easy way to track it for this video. So we'll see how much we end up using in 30 hours time. You may notice I do have an inventory space saved. This is because I have a pearl fishing rod instead of just the normal one. And that is all credit to aerial fishing. Try it out sometime. It's, it's surprisingly fun if you get into it and the rhythm with it. And it's nothing like getting hunter and fishing XP. I like that concept a lot, which is why I have fished quite a lot of sacred eels in my time. I would say about 100,000 of my Zora skills are from actually killing Zora and the other 90,000 were just from fishing sacred eels. So I've been here quite a long time. This angler fish, infernal eels, you name it. As long as it's AFK, I've most likely camped it uh, with fishing. And the benefit of all these scales stacking up is that I still have yet to receive a serpentine helmet on my Iron Man from all my Zora grinds, as well as a magic fang. So once I do unlock those items and I get PVMing and bossing in the future, these Zora skills will be heavily used and they'll probably be disappearing in no time. So it's awesome that we're going to be stocking up so much. It's the same reason I like mining Amethyst and just stocking up on so many different arrows and darts because it's really beneficial for down the line PVMing, whether you're just training or bossing. With the Pearl Fishing Rod, we do of course have the Angler Outfit and it's the upgraded one from Temporos. For the longest time, I was against this outfit. I just wasn't a big fan of it, but it looks really well with the fishing skill cape as well as the blue bird. Even put on a salve amulet too, so it's a pretty good outfit. Looks like we had 19,100 scales at the 10 hour mark, so yeah, 1,900 an hour. Some hours, I guess, varied based on how AFK I was. We had 1,600 one hour and then 1,900 another hour, so yeah, I mean, it really just depends. These fishing spots do move pretty commonly, so you gotta be on the lookout for that, but having the plug-in turned on does help a lot, and in reality, after I was done editing this video, I did realize that I accidentally did an extra hour here, so but, yeah, I mean, it's not too big of a deal, just keep that in mind when we get to the end, and that's mainly just because I would be pausing the timers for when I would do clue scrolls because I didn't want that to affect the time at all, and sometimes I would just not unpause it absolutely right away, so that's why I kind of cut in and got some extra scales there, but it's all right. I'm sure we're going to use them eventually. Plus, I'm sure after the first hour, everything uh, is really calculated here. How many, you know, scales you can get per hour, as well as how much cooking and fishing experience you can get per hour here. And your levels do affect your rates here. If you're 72 to 79 cooking, you're going to get about three to five scales every time you use a knife on them. And it just goes up from there. At 96 to 103, you get six to eight scales. And even virtual levels matter here. At levels 104 to 111 fishing, you get seven to nine scales per eel, which is actually awesome because I think right now I'm probably around 104 fishing. So the higher fishing XP you are, the more scales you will receive per sacred eel. So that's great. It's nice that they actually included that for people who get post 99 XP. Well, there's our first elite clue done. Wasn't able to complete many of them, but uh, following that we did complete uh, another medium. Those are stacking up nicely. Five of those in the bank so far with one elite to go along with that. And finally at long last, 20 million fishing XP is about to be obtained. It took a very long time. I have never done barbarian fishing on this account. Uh, never even did monkfish. I just did sharks, anglers, and pretty much everything AFK in between and after that. With thousands upon thousands of cooked and raw food in the bank, as well as so many Zora scales, so much tokel, so many onyx bolt tips. I gotta say, fishing has been very rewarding on the way to 99 and all the way past it. And here's another hard clue, so we'll go ahead and do that. Got a couple of these so far. I think this is our third in the bank, so we'll be opening them up shortly. Just about five hours left to go here. Sacred Eels, they uh, are not that interesting. You know, I've covered them in videos before. Uh, they have been in the game since 2015, and other than supplying you with a pretty good amount of Zora scales and a tiny bit of fishing and cooking XP, they don't really do too much else. As I always say in a lot of these skilling videos, clue scrolls are always the highlight, so expect quite a few clues here. Be ready to do them. As you can see, I finally built a bank tab for clue 
Clues Scrolls and farm runs on my Iron Man, so it saves me a ton of time on Clues Scrolls, and if you haven't done it, I definitely recommend you do so. Never too late to save some time. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, 30 hours of fishing sacred eels has been completed. My first hour, I did receive 1,650 scales, so I should have ended with about 49.5k to 50k, but I ended with 53k instead. Overall loot, 53.3 thousand Zora scales, 7.8 mil, 250 to 270k an hour. And a quick reminder to use discount code Mr. No Sleep to save an additional 10% off with any purchase at Creator Crafted. So many LED signs and mouse pads. All right, let's open up these clue scrolls. From the two easies, absolutely nothing. Probably just going to high out that. And from the mediums, more alkables. Still just some alkables, no uniques quite yet. Where's my ranger boots? All right, get some decent teleports, but that's about it from the mediums. Now it's for the hards. Hopefully get something here. More alkables and some stackables. But from the last one, a master clue, which unfortunately I could not complete. But from the elite, decent amount of summer pies, one runite bar, very strange there, and an Arceus unique scarf. Well, we got over 700k from the clue scrolls, a so value to the bank, so that's not too bad. Uh, close to 650k fishing and 700k cooking, I would say. Wasn't too concerned with the XP from this one, just wanted the 20 mil as well as the scales. So thank you guys so much for watching. A huge thank you to the channel members with a Special shout out to Deception Z, X Exotic X, and Angel's Blood. I should have a video ready for you guys tomorrow night featuring Callisto and RTO. Until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.